Hello, David Morgan with you. This came out today from the Silver Institute. Headline reads, Global Silver Mine Production Drops in 2016 for the First Time in 14 Years. And a subtitle not to miss is Silver's Use in Solar Sector Surged 34% and Posts a New Record. May 11th, global silver mine production in 2016 recorded its first decline since 2002, largely the result of lower byproduct output from lead, zinc, and gold sectors. Coupled with less silver scrap supply to the market, which posted its lowest level since 1996, as well as a contraction in the producer hedging, total silver supply decreased by 32.6 million ounces in 2016. Moreover, new highs were recorded for silver's use in photovoltaic ethylene oxide sectors, both growing and significant industrial applications for silver. These findings and other key components of the silver market are discussed in the World Silver Survey 2017, released today by the Silver Institute and produced on its behalf by GFMS at Thomson Reuters. Skipping up to the silver price and investment, the annual silver price posted an impressive 9.3% increase in 2016, its first rise since 2011, where we hit the peak near $50 late last day of April, early May, about uh, five years ago. And this is 9.3%, and that's year over year. In other words, the price of silver actually was very impressive in 2016, from January up through the summer months where it peaked out and it fell from that point all the way through the rest of the year, but still year over year, it was almost 10% higher than it was at the beginning of the year. Silver coin and metal fabrication fell by about 9% in 2016. More on the industrial side, fabrication demand fell 11%, pulled lower by weaker offtake for jewelry, silverware, and retail investment. Industrial applications, the largest component of physical silver demand, accounted for 55% of the total physical silver supply last year and were marginally lower by only 1%, reaching 561.9 million ounces of silver. So I highly recommend for those that wished you to get the uh, 2017 silver survey from the Silver Institute and uh, go through it. I go through it every year, we report on it, and it's quite an interesting read for those that are very involved in the silver market.